Hello, I'm Deirdre Dwyer and I'm a set and costume designer. I've been invited by Graffiti Theatre Company and Cork City Council to make this video to show you how to make your own Celtic hero costume. It's all going to be part of the virtual festival for Cork St. Patrick's Day this year, 2021. For this video, to make your brooch and belt buckle, you will need some cardboard, some paint or colours, a scissors, a safety pin, a belt, and some newspaper to protect the table. So to make a brooch to attach our blanket together, I've been thinking about um, a kind of famous Celtic brooch, so something like the Tara brooch. So these are brooches that the Celts would have used to keep their heavy cloaks on them. So they consist of a circular um, part and then a long pin and they would have stuck the pin through the cloaks in order to keep them on. But we're going to do a bit of cheating and use a safety pin, the modern equivalent, um, which is what we'll use to, to attach to the back of our brooch. So we're going to make an ornamental brooch. So I have picked out a little bowl here that has a slightly narrower end than the top, but you could use a jar or a cup or anything you have. And I'm also using cardboard. So this is a nice light cardboard like from a cereal pack. This happens to be some crackers. And um, so I'm gonna put my cup, my, my round circle down and draw around it. And then I'm gonna use the end, which is a bit narrower to be the inside. So trying to place it in and around in the middle. And drawing around it there. So I've got two concentric circles, one on the outside and one slightly smaller. And then as you can see from my image, I'm gonna draw the pin. So they kind of have a, a squarish bit at the top and then a long pin that goes down. And I want my pin to be quite thick because I'm gonna be cutting it out of cardboard and I want it to really stand out. Slightly trickier bit is to get the inside of the hole, so I kind of poke with my scissors through, being careful of my fingers, of course, or fold it over a bit and do a little snip, and then I can get in with my scissors and cut out the cutouts. So you've got one side now, if I held it up against my navy cardi. So now, not too bad, you've got a Celtic brooch. Think about the decoration. So you can think about how you want to decorate your one. So Celtic patterns are a lot of swirls and circles. So I'm kind of going to do some two circles maybe up here with a swirl in them. Does that look decorative enough. Maybe um, we might need some nice lines on the pin as well. And I might put some more circles on. But let's paint it now. So it's kind of, this one's a yellow ochre, so it's kind of golden in colour. You could go silver. Maybe you could stick gems onto it if you had some gems at home. So now my tara brooch is dry, so I might pick a bit more colour, maybe give it some red jewels. Multicoloured beautifully bejeweled Tara brooch. So now that the our brooch is really dry, we're gonna stick on our safety pin. So I've opened up my safety pin because we want to stick our tape in between, in that flat bit there, just between the head of the safety pin and the bend. So I'm gonna cut a bit of tape and hold it up against it. So that's gonna to be too long, so I'm gonna cut a bit off it. So if you were using sellotape, it might be slightly simpler and push it through there and then turn it around. And so I think I want to stick it just at the top there. So I'm just having used my tape to stick it down and then I'm gonna just cut off any little bit that's poking through. 
taken off the top. So there, we've got our brooch ready to go. The pin will go through my cardigan there. Our very own Tara brooch. So we want to make a buckle or something that looks like a big buckle for our belt. It can be square or it could be round. And so if we're gonna do a circle, I'm gonna use maybe, this is my tape. I could use that as a, as a circular shape to draw around or a bowl or a small plate. Or if I wanted it to be square, um, a square buckle, I could probably use my ruler to um, draw a square buckle or a rectangle actually. Or you could draw a square if you want. And the important thing that I'm gonna need is my, is two slits for my belt to go through. So in the middle, so I've got the width of my belt here and I've got my circle. This will be my buckle. So similarly on this, So we want this bit, we just want to get rid of these two slits so that our buckle can weave through. So I'm going to cut these out to show you what I mean. And now I want to cut my two slits. It would be to poke a hole with a pencil all the way through. That's better. And then using your, the hole, using your scissors, go through there. So you end up with something like this. So it's a piece of card with two holes. And then if I take my belt, I'll poke it in one side and the other, and I'll have a big belt buckle to put around my waist. So I'm just gonna put a piece of newspaper down so I don't paint directly onto the table and put my buckles down. And they could be any color you want. So we just have to finish off our buckles. I pulled out some markers. So again, you can do this, the same as we did with the Tara brooch, so using your pencil. Um, but I'm just going to see what some marker looks like. So if I... I also have this gold marker that I thought might be cool if we put... So there you have our belt buckle. So that could be ready to go. There's some lovely shine off the gold pen. I've been Deirdre Dwyer and this video was brought to you by Cork, St. Patrick's Festival and Graffiti Theatre Company. We'd love to see your costume designs. So if you do want to share them, ask the adult in your life um, to share them on social media with the hashtags Cork Goes Green or hashtag Cork St. Patrick's Festival. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing them. Thank you so much. Bye.